Hello you beautiful people, well, welcome to the channel. My name's Paul, if you're new, you don't know, um, I'm in my van. This is Morticia, uh, the van's called Morticia. Um, and it's just a, a, a quick video, this is a video that I'm, I'm about to do, sorry it's an upgrade I'm about to do and that's what's in this box here. Um, there's an address on it but it doesn't matter because it's my work address, I have everything delivered to work so it doesn't matter if you see it, hence I haven't covered it up. Um, so what we're doing is um airbag upgrade. Um, on the van. The uh, the van is running pretty much on weight. We're about 3.3 um, tonne. Um, so it's constantly heavy. Um, so the back end's bouncing. Um, you know, it's leaf spring, it's got some uh, shocks. And they're all okay. It's just obviously with the weight all the time. Um, it's just it's just heavy. So uh, just to give a better ride and let more stability, um, we're going to fit this air, air suspension kit, which is in here. Um, these are fairly readily available off eBay um, for the sit and relay, which is what this is, um, and various other vans. Although a pal of mine's got a he's got an O3 um, Sprinter. Can't find one at all for his van without spending about two and a half grand. I think it is. Um, yeah, it's just uh, it's just mad money for his. So I thought I'd do a quick unboxing of what you get in the kit. Um, then, um, well, today being Friday, it's Friday night. I've just finished work, hence being in uniform. Um, so unbox this now and show you this. And then tomorrow morning, Saturday, I'm going to get underneath the van um, and lubricate all the U-bolts. I think I'm sure the 22 mm nuts. Uh, I'm just going to use um, WD-40 penetrant. Specialist penetrant, um, so that when we come to do it next weekend, because I'm not actually fitting it until next weekend, um, hopefully the WD40 has done its trick. But let's get into the unboxing, shall we? So we've got. I have already been through it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say I haven't. You know, it's all due to me because it's not. I have been through it. Make sure everything's in there. That's supposed to be in there. So that's your instructions. Just it is what it is. Their instructions. Um, they're not brilliant, but to be honest, there's plenty of videos on YouTube that will show you how to do it. Which is, I'm confident after watching the videos I've watched that I can go under the van and, and, and do it. You know, sort it out. Right, you got. Uh, I'm sure it's 10 meters. Could be wrong. I'm sure it's 10 meters of airline. Um, what is it? Six by four mil, 145 psi, PU hose. So you get that. You get this bit. Now this is, wasn't what I was expecting, but this is the valve. Um, yeah, it's the um, valve. It's just uh, what they call a Schrader, uh, a Schrader valve. So it's exactly the same as what you get on a on a car tire. And then that's uh, the dust cap. The new the new things have not been out long. I don't know if I'll keep that on, but so I have had to back off this, and it's just a, a, a T inside. So you put an airline in there, connect it, and it feeds the shred around that and whatever. My intention is to uh, carpet wrap this um, in the same carpet as, as the walls um, because of where it's going. Uh, that's the valve that's fit to come off on the inside. So that's that bit. I have a bag of nuts. There's a bag of nuts that's bought some washers, and there's also, um, you can see that piece there, there is a T piece for the airline, which will become apparent when we when we fit it. Uh, this one's all the bracketry. Uh, you get two of these, and they you, you have to take the bump stops off, and then these replace where the bump stops are fitted. There's two of them, obviously one for each side. And then there's two of these again one for each side obviously um, and you have to remove the u-bolts off the top of the leaf springs um, you put these in the place and then the u-bolts clamp you know over the top like that and nip that between there's one there and then another one on that side but i'll become apparent when we actually get on with it and show you it like i say next weekend um, so that's them um, 
it does come with a compressor I haven't opened this so let's put this together it's a 12 volt compressor so it should come with it does I look at mini compressor there's all sorts of valves in there I used to have one of these compressors before um, I used to use it for airbrushing of all things not a bad little compressor um, does the job but yeah there's a Schrader that will fit onto that valve when you've got your 12 volt it's normal it just plugs in it's just a I'm, sure, I'm assuming it'll be a diaphragm compressor it will be I've no doubt maximum PSI of 150 PSI and 10 bar I think this one's at about 3 bar 75 PSI if I remember correctly um, it's got rubber feet there but I might somehow I might take these feet off somehow I don't know how to do it yet um, just so I can screw it to the wall these two are easy take the rubber feet I don't know I, I don't know I'd like to screw it into place somewhere fit it properly but that's the compressor and it comes with a uh, couple of different fittings so you've got one there for a football so and then the only important bits are airbags oh. there are the airbags obviously the plate will fit on the top like that you know that'll be bolted up and then you you bolt down there and then the same with that That's, if, you see, if you look at that it's got a hole and you've got your air inlet there so obviously the hole goes where the air inlet is so that's them that's it obviously there's two of them there's another one in there oh. so that's the kit that's what you get for 200 quid like I say I, I bought it because I need it I don't need it it's just going to make life easier uh, um, just got to fit it now <laughs> that's all this for this bit like I say I'll go outside tomorrow morning um, or wire brush all the, uh, the nuts and stuff that needs to be coming off. Wire brush all that and then spray it with the uh, WD-40. What's it? WD-40 Specialist Penetrant. Yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. Uh, hello, we're on Dip Van. Um, we were going to start doing this. Right. It's not designed for the big blocks at all. So what we're going to do first thing, take a little airbrush, penetration spray, penetration spray, and we're going to spray up the uh, wheel bolts, just for when we get down to it a bit. Right, so you see, see this bit here, that's the bit we're replacing because these are absolutely, the shot, absolutely shot. So we've got two bolts under the here. Sorry, two nuts and two buttons and two nuts there. And we'll see how that gets on. But uh, in the meantime, we've got to knock off what's left of the uh, the original bump stops. Um, and we do have little indents on them so what I'm hoping I can do is I can use a cold chisel and an hammer and give it a good crack and it should come off this is a little bit I'm worried about because if this doesn't pop off it's going to be annoying That's not fucking right. 
Absolute nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Um, we're not like down a little bit. So it did exactly what I thought it was doing. Clamp that down. There we go. Right, where are they? Right. So that's normally like that. That's fitting in there. Right. So that screw there goes in that little hole there. Right. No problem with that, is there? It's a paint on oh, yeah. Um, but, however, whoever designed this thing, this thing, wants shooting. Because that bolt has got a round head, it doesn't have a hex head. So what's happened is, and that, and that is then just tacked to this plate before that's inserted. And, um, whew, thanks. and what's happened is that the tack welds are broke, so that was spinning, but the threads were staying still. So what I've done is, very crudely and very badly, and I could weld a lot better than that, but I can't get in to clean it. So I've just chucked a crap load of weld at it. You know as you do. Um, and then just beat the crap out of it until it come off. And it's off. So, yeah, happy days. Well, for that bit, I've got other side to do with it. So, what I'm going to get then is, that should fit in that hole. Of course it doesn't. What the hell? Oh, was it one one? Maybe it's that one. <laughs> Use the right spot, right box. Check it. I was in. Oh, somebody had a heart attack then. Can you get through that one? Panic over. I thought my garage was on fire. <laughs> oh man, I should have got these sorted out on the top early, but I didn't. So, no, we don't. We only have them for that ones. So, oh, where? Got all things and thumbs. Goes up there like that. Get that like that. ago my brothers and I started a uh, biker channel biker brothers it's all an adventure um, we are now well we've now decided that we are going to do a round the UK charity ride uh, in memory of our sister who we lost uh, just over two years ago uh, we're going to be doing the four points of the UK which is starting off at St David's then going up to John O'Groats then down to Nest Point then across to Land's End and then back up uh, to St. David's. Uh, we're doing it in aid of uh, cancer research uh, because our sister uh, died of uh, brain cancer and recently we've lost that uncle to cancer as well. So if you'd like to donate anything uh, pop over to either my Trucker Janko channel or the Biker Brothers channel. It's all an adventure and the link will be in the description. Click on the link and uh, yeah please help if you can. Many thanks. <laughs>
Are we safe enough on everything to go up? I don't know. I'm probably let it down actually. Let it down. Let it, let it down. Well, yeah, go for it. Let's see what happens. Up, lay it down. No, go up. Up. Hey, yeah, it's on it, Wood. Go on. Are we level though? Yeah, keep going. Well, we're not, no, but fucking, I don't think it's going to half an inch. Yes, I know, but the, what I'm saying is the jack's at this side of that. It's put it down then. It's, it's got, put it down and square it up. We need to go back down. Put it down and square it up. That's what I'm telling you. Put it down and square it up. Yeah. Well, I don't think you're safe, you, you oh, might go down quick, because it well, just be careful. Well, at the end of the day, it shouldn't go down any further than the crossbar. Still going down? Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to be gentle for you, but you're winning me. Well, it's alright, it's not going to go down crossbars here, is it? It's only body you're winning now. Stop jerking it like that, nice and smooth. Oh, keep on. Yeah, I'm just checking. It's alright. Is there small pieces of wood what you put on that? It's alright, it's only sinking into wood. The base, the plate of the uh, thing is sinking into wood. Come on.
carpet weight. Yeah. Might be a bit snug on my belly, but we'll go for it. Are you sure? Yeah, go for it. We'll see what I can. Oh, should be sun then. <laughs> Pinch of that van now. Uh, as you can see, airbags are nice and flat now. Flip it up, they are after it. Um, right, airbags on. Secured. It's a noisy bugger. That's one side done. Oh, it's been an absolute nightmare. T piece there, uh, which will get mounted to chassis, to the cross member. Um, T piece off of that. And then up the top, I'm talking to camera. So I'll catch up with you guys later when, when we've done this. Uh, speak to you a bit. Hi guys. Um, well, we're several days later now. Um, quite frankly, I lost my temper. I think we'll we'll call it lost my temper. That's a safe way of putting it. Um, the first airbag was shocking, difficult to get that piece off. Having to weld it up and that it was really really awkward. It was a pain in the butt. The second one on the driver's side, just. An absolute nightmare. Um, it started to spin exactly the same, um, so I thought, you know, I'd nailed this. I'm okay. I know what I'm doing here. I can just knock that rubber out, weld that circular bolt head, shall we call it, to the plate, same as I did on the other side. Job done. No, because what had actually happened was there was a captive bolt inside the chassis rail. Basically, the chassis rail that goes down the back, the, the back legs on the chassis. They're like an inverted U, and then these plates that the um, what are called bump stops mount to are welded across. So imagine you've got you know the inverted U like that, and the, the plates are welded like that. Inside there, there's a welded nut. There's a nut welded in place, or threads of some description. Probably knowing the way the other bit, it wasn't even a nut; it'll have been a threaded bar. Anyways, that had come loose on the inside of the chassis. Couldn't get to that piece itself, so it, it was just. It took me about an hour and a half to actually get that piece off. I couldn't get a grinder into it, um, so I ended up using a hacksaw, a manual hacksaw. But I had very, very limited movement on it, um, you know, to actually cut. I was only cutting about maybe using about an inch and a half of blade. That was all I, all I could use. Um, so yeah, it was just an absolute nightmare. So what I ended up doing there was <clears throat> I used the original. 17 mil bolt, you know the bolt head, uh, so that's going to be probably an M8 bolt, I think it is, 17 mil. Um, so yeah, I put, I could get the bolt into the chassis rail to drop back through the hole after I'd got rid of the the existing stuff. Um, so it left a hole in the plate. So I got the bolt through, so I ended up with a stud um, a thread, uh, and I just welded that into place. Um, and then I got um, already had a washer, so I just got a nut. I'm sure it was M8, an M8 nut, and I actually used a nut. I put the plate in place, and then we used a nut and tightened it up that way. But it was an absolute mare. Um, honestly, I, I was so fed up, so annoyed, so cheesed off. It was supposed to be an easy, quick job, and it wasn't. Just because of those two bits, the actual airbag installation was easy, um, very, very easy. But the um, Getting the bump stops off was very, very uh, challenging, shall we say. Um, but it's done. Um, it's done. But the ride quality is immense compared. Um, there's none of that, as I call it, the Uncle Buck, Uncle Buck syndrome. You of a certain age will know what I mean by the Uncle Buck syndrome. Um, it's yeah, it's way, way better and. Uh, yeah, it's just such a much nicer ride, and definitely worth the two hundred pound investment uh, for the kit. Um, the uh, the springs, obviously, it's got leaf springs. They're supposed to be a bit of an arch into them, so a bit of a smile. Mine were were flat, um, so they weren't overloaded, which would have been a sad sad spring. Um, but they were very stern, if that makes sense. They were nearly they weren't quite flat, but they were nearly flat. Um, I have had the van weighed. I don't know if I've already mentioned that beforehand. And it was um, 3,300 kilos, which I'm allowed 3,500, so it's just underweight, even with my fat ass in the seat. Uh, before any of you, any of you lot comment, 
so that's going to be another video um, if I can you know if that footage is worth putting up I'll put up but it gave me a ride height it's lifted it a good good two inch in ride height um, makes the overall look of the outside so much better as well um, but yeah so that's it I'm sorry I apologize for if there's not much more footage but like I say I was just so fed up and just out and out angry <laughs> Um, there would have been a lot of bleep and a lot of swearing so I didn't think it was worth putting in the video so thanks for riding along with me guys and uh, the next video will probably be uh, I don't know, probably interior well, I'll do it. I might do that this weekend because I'm actually in Castleton in the Hope Valley um, I'm going to have a couple of days up here so yeah I will uh, love you and leave you I'll catch you in the next one, bye guys